pretty big story we're following this morning. California Attorney General Rob Bonta now getting involved in the case of the shooting death of Banco Brown in San Francisco. Brown was shot, killed by a security guard after allegedly shot lifting at Walgreens. Ground Force Michael Thomas is live in San Francisco. Michael, what are you learning the latest on this case? Yeah, good morning. Well, lots of moving parts, but California State Attorney General Rob Bonta says he will be investigating Brooke Jenkins' San Francisco DA's office to see if abuse of discretion was used in this case. As many of us know, it has been very controversial. On your screen now is a photo of Banco Brown, who, as Dana, or excuse me, had Raina had mentioned, was unarmed when a Walgreens security guard shot and killed Brown after allegedly stealing from the store. Controversy was added even more when San Francisco District Attorney Brooke Jenkins released surveillance video of Brown death and decided not to charge the security guard who claimed the killing was done in self-defense. Now, Banco's family attorney spoke with us and says there is no guarantee that charges will be filed, but it's a start in the right direction. Take a listen. Uh, the family is very elated by this decision, and I think it's an appropriate one. It's not a guarantee, clearly, not a guarantee that the, that the attorney general will, in fact, uh, uh, file charges because the, the standard is pretty high, abuse of discretion, but at the same time, this case is worthy of that kind of consideration. Now, San Francisco DA Brooke Jenkins says her office has been very transparent with the public and welcomes Bonta's review, adding that her office released evidence for the investigation so the public could see why it came to the decision that it did. That's